A U.S. warship collided with a merchant vessel as the Garden Missile Destroyer was heading to Singapore for a visit. This is the second serious accident involving American Navy ships in the region in less than two months. Returning to the White House on Sunday night, U.S. President Donald Trump offered his thoughts and prayers to USS John McCain and the entire U.S. Navy sailors as such and rescue efforts continue. Elsewhere, Zimbabwe's First Lady, Dr. Grace Mugabe, has been granted immunity by the South African government after she was accused of assaulting a 20-year-old woman. South African police had placed border restrictions preventing her from leaving the country. However, the International Relations Minister in South Africa granted her diplomatic immunity, which she allowed her to return to Zimbabwe on Sunday. A group representing the victim has a waiver vote to go to court to challenge the decision. In Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari returned home after three months of medical leave in the UK. Officials have refused to disclose what he has been treated for. The 74-year-old Buhari walked unaided from the plane after landing in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. He had handed over power to Vice President Osin Bajo to allay concerns of a void at the helm of Africa's biggest economy. His absence sparked numerous demands from Nigerian citizens that he should resign as they call for more transparency about the president's condition. Sharon Gita Citizen Live at One.